Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Who? Who? Ah, meditating, meditating. Ah, oh, just something caught my attention. Hello, how you doing? Uh, it's this scripture that you know. I, it's it's aggravating me, you know. This script. Hello, how you doing? Scripture is bothering me. It's just bothering me when you know. When you see this world, I mean, what's going on, you know? Oh, this, look at that sun interfering. You see the sun, the sun, you know? Jesus Christ, you know, shining, you know? Yeah. Well, the scripture is aggravating me. This is bothering me. You know, what John is saying, 1 John 4, 4, is saying, greater is he that is in me now here's when it gets complicated for people in the church these days <laughs> they got this you know kind of discombobulated here you know this reality here watch this then he hello how you doing sir that is in the world all right, man. All right, man. Up, Hope you keep watching, man. Too, All right. Then he that is in the world. Of course, that's talking about Satan. You know, he, but, get, you know, it's he. But John didn't say Satan. Hmm. Why he didn't say Satan? You know, because you know why I think God, John didn't mention no names in this. Because he could have said greater is, you know, uh, Jesus, greater is Jesus that is in me than Satan is in the world. He could have easily said that, you know. But why did he didn't mention any names? <laughs> uh, you know, here's the thing about what I hope that you will find out to discover about true love, you know. Uh, true love is something that, you know, has to be Salt. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not true love. It's not really something that really given, but it has to be sought after that. You know, if it's a treasure, something worth having, it has to be sought out in order to obtain it. You know, it's just, you know, when you give something, something about when something's free, you know. People treat it like, you know, like it's a measly old, you know, thing that, you know, I was free. I just got it like it's right here. I just got it right there. And, you know, there's nothing to it, you know. It's something about when something is given to free, people find a way of not treating it to the value to what it is. I mean, to what it is. It, you might get free gold. I guarantee somebody gives somebody free gold, you know. You might not treat that according to the value to what it is, you know, even though it probably could be worth millions. But it's just this reality that we have in our lives, in our hearts, that we like to treat things, you know. Uh, we don't value and look at things, you know, the way it should because, but when it's sought out, when you have to go through something, you know, when you have to face situations and go through obstacles and, and you know, life risking is something that you have to consume your life, your all, all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. Hmm, I heard somebody that wants somebody to love them that way. Who? Oh yeah, Jesus said that. Yeah, your heart and your soul and your mind is ideal, you know. Uh, when you give up all these precious things, because you find out how precious these things are when you start giving it to people. <laughs> yeah, you say, ah, my heart, so my, I, you know how people, I can do that, I can do that, you know. Uh, well, you know, it's like this, you know. It's, it, it's something great. <laughs> something great is given, then now something is great is greatly treated that way. How you doing? You know. It be treated, you know, according to how it was given, you know. 
So it's like, okay, greater is he. We let's discover the greatest is he. We our hope, you know, come to the understanding this is Jesus Christ. This he is Jesus Christ. And greater is he that is in me. Now here it is. It says, greater is he that is in me. Therefore, I got to get it in me to discover how great it really is. Hmm. Now, look, God is good. Yeah. But guess what? God's good. God is good. But how much God's goodness is compared to our reality of goodness? Come, let's measure. I, I could do a quick measure. Okay. Earth. Men. <laughs> God, heaven. That's it. That's the only measurement I need to put on you to compare when God says something is goodness and we say it's goodness. Earth, yeah, that, that should, you know, answer the, you know, factor of that it's not really on the same level. Hello, how you doing? It's not really on the same level. You know, there it goes. So, therefore, but, but, but John is, has discovered probably the goodness of God is more greater than anything that is in the world. He, 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 he's this, he had to discover it by putting it in him. Not keeping them outside him, but putting it in him. He had discovered that it was great. <laughs> you know, and I'm just uh, discovering that this has to be the reality because I look at people, church especially, people, and I'm looking at them and they say, oh, they got Christ in them. It's like, hmm, hmm. And they, you know, got this thing, they, to me, they just minimize God, you know. It's just, I, I look at, they, it's just, they're acting how they treat people and do things to people, they minimize. Hello, how you doing? They, they minimize God, you know. It's just, it's just, it, it irritates me. I, 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 it irritates me. It irritates my, it irritates my greater is he that is in me. You know what I'm saying? To watch people minimize God. And Christians minimize God. And it's like, this man has given the greatest gift in human history, you know? And we're going to give this in exchange? Hmm. Ugh. It just bothers me. And we can live, we're going to live incorrectly for this temporal nonsense that always irritates me but you know hey uh that's part of the you know ministry part of obtaining great things you know you gotta live with it but you know it's he that is in the world you know the temporal you know confusion chaos confusion conflict and chaos world you know that doesn't really have any peace you know and it's just crazy how the world is and system is and you know hello how you doing hey i'm on youtube it's called mac m-a-c-k johnson do reality hope you check it out okay. be blessed and you know he that is you know greater is he that's he that's in the world and the world is in darkness here's the part that is always going to irritate me the world is in darkness and we're in the light hmm. Now see, because I want people to really look at First John, whole First John, whole whole like top shot at the tonic, you know. I'm, you know, uh, he did a we gonna live forever. And he said people need to read the whole first book of first book of John. I remember that 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 ring in my ear, you know, since that song is so old, you know, on Cross Movement, shout out Cross Movement. But that song is, you know, re going back in my ear. Say people need to read the whole first book of. I'm a whole book of first John you know because it is he's right because wow how minimum you will find out how how we're minimizing Jesus Christ you know and how we conduct ourselves as Christians that we're not allowing the greater is he that is in us and to over we're supposed to overcome the world not come underneath the world system and not you know not shine a light not operate in darkness you know not not show the love joy peace gentleness long suffering meekness temperance faith you know what i'm saying you know 
not show, you know, we're supposed to, the light is supposed to overcome darkness. That is in the nature. That is in the natural. But yet these Christians are laid back in this lousy system, just, you know, allowing darkness to overcome them. Hmm. It's like, it's just crazy. And it drives me nuts. I'm like, God, I, I don't want to live another day. I'm being real with y'all. I don't want to live another day in this crazy, zany, lying system because it's we're light, they're darkness. Darkness is light is greater than darkness. Hello, how you doing? Beautiful dog. I mean, that's just should be that simple. It should be that simple. See, look at the light. The light, the light shining. You know, here you see the light shining. It's not shining. I mean, the reality of the system of this world is opposite. The dark is shining over the light. And the dark don't even shine, you know. <laughs> Crazy. It's just nuts. I can't stand a world like this. But things will change pretty soon. Hopefully sooner the better. Hello, how you doing? Hey, I'm on YouTube. Check it out. It's called Mac, M-A-C-K, Johnson, The Reality on YouTube. All right, what's your you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm minister by reality. Oh, okay. That's cool, okay, man. hope you check it out. All right, man. Got a couple of videos. Watch out for that walls. Woo! <laughs> but, uh... That, that's the thing, you know, it's just nuts. Oh, it's just, yeah. It bothers me every morning I wake up and say, God, this world is still dark. Can't stand it. I mean, I can't stand the darkness. I can't stand the lie. The lie, that darkness is supposed to overpower the light. It's just a lie. And, you know, when you understand what First John is all about, you will get the very aggravating feeling that I have, you know. And it's supposed to aggravate you to, let me see, fellowship. <laughs> oh, yeah, it should aggravate you to start fellowshipping more with Christians. And focus and make it fight for fellowship. You know, make it your business to fellowship. That's why I keep telling people. I mean, at first, John, let us know about fellowship. It should be the agenda. The agenda. You know what I'm saying? Not all this other stuff, you know, that's going on in the church. Fellowship supposed to be the main agenda. And of course, the church is doing contrary opposite of that, you know. And they think they're in the will of God, you know. And it's just ridiculous, you know, that, you know, we just, it's just we're losing just by disobedience, you know. That's what, you know, we'll lose every, you know, game, you know. I look at teams and watch games. All right, guys, enjoy yourself. Wonderful day, another wonderful day. All right, be blessed. Um, you know, it's just, it's just madness. It's really madness. It's terrible how this world system is continually, you know, being darkened, being darkened, and knowing that the, we're the light. I'm, I'm the light, you know. I represent the light. I'm like John. I'm the witness to the light. Therefore, I shine forth the light, and I expect to be greater than darkness. I expect to be greater in darkness. I expect greatness to come out of me. I'm I expect to perform in greatness, minister in greatness, whatever, praise in greatness, worship in greatness, whatever. Greatness is so it's supposed to come out of me. It's not supposed to be like you're shocked that greatness coming out of me. No, it's supposed to come out. That's what it's supposed to come out. I'm supposed to expect greatness coming out of your mouth if you're of him, you know. That's how it works and it's, it doesn't work any other way, you know, shape or form, you know. And, that's what we need to understand, and you know that it, it's that's how it's supposed to be. That's the reality. Greatness is supposed to be expected. You know what I'm saying to people that. Hello, how you doing? All right, I'm on YouTube. Check it out. It's called Mac M A C K Johnson. The reality. Please check it out. All right, be blessed. Um, you know it's just greatness is expected, but expected to help others, not to create this image to blow you up and put you on the map. No, it's to put Jesus Christ and allow his, you know, uh, word, you know, to help others to become greatness, to be made in the image and likeness of God. That's the agenda, you know, and that of what John, 1 John 4, 4 is all about. Making people shine the light of Christ. Let no Christ, light run the show. You know, darkness is just what it is. It's cowards hiding from, you know, the power, you know. That's what it is. That's what darkness is. It's they're cowards. You know, that's what they are. They're cowards. They don't have no power. They can only take away power to make you believe that they have power, but you believe them because, you know, they put in lust and 
make you think that it's powerful. It's not powerful. When we start operating in love, nothing can stop us. Love, reduce light, and we overcome it. All right, that's the word. To God be the glory, him forever. In Jesus' name, amen.